<coughs> hey guys, it's Caleb here. Today I'm going to show you how to check your shutter count for your Sony camera, specifically A6300 and up, and really any other modern Sony camera that's been released. There are some other tools that uh, are common out there on the internet, but they really only work for the NEX series, older cameras, and maybe like the A55, stuff like that, A mount series. And a lot of people have newer cameras and they want to check the shutter count. So I'm going to show you how to do that. This should also work for Canon, Nikon, Olympus, Fuji, really any kind of camera that's supported by this program, you'll be able to see all the EXIF data and the shutter count is part of this EXIF data. Keep in mind, using the cameras like the A9 in continuous shooting mode at 20 frames a second, or the A6300, 6500 in silent shooting mode shouldn't affect your shutter count as you're not actually using the mechanical shutter. I want to go ahead and apologize for my lack of a screen recorder setup. I don't have it currently installed as I recently got a new boot drive for my computer. Anyhow, the website is called Pick Meta Systems. So it's picmeta.com, and you'll follow the download link at the top right, sort of, or you can just go to picmeta.com slash download.htm, and you choose the first option here. It is the free option. Once you download and install the program, the installer is pretty straightforward. Go ahead and have a RAW or JPEG file unedited, unmodified from your camera. I just pasted this in my pictures folder. Go ahead and open up the program and navigate to where this picture is. So I'm just going to navigate to my pictures folder and we see there's one raw file in here. So I took this one the other day and it was the most recent photo I took and it's also the most recent with the mechanical shutter. So over here on the right you'll find the various tabs. Click the EXIF tab, open by default, and scroll down to whatever tab is your camera brand. I have a Sony camera, so this tab is Sony for me. There's a lot of information here, but what we're interested in is something called image count. It's in alphabetical order, so it's rather easy to find. For some reason, my A6300 has three different image counts. Image count, image count 2, and image count 3, but they're all the same. So we can see here that my camera is at 6,111 shutter actuations. And that's it. That's how you find your shutter count on modern Sony cameras. Uh, it should also work on other cameras. Our recording, right? Yeah. Also, keep in mind, when you're using silent shooting mode to try to mitigate how many shutter counts you're accumulating, you're going to be dropping down from a 12-bit RAW file to a 10-bit RAW file on the A6300 and probably the A6500. This isn't a big deal for most shooting in reality, but for something like astrophotography time lapses, something I'm interested in, that extra data might be handy to have because I'm shooting in extreme low light conditions and I want the best signal to noise ratio for my camera. Anyway, thank you for watching the video and subscribe for more and drop a like.